derivative of the following problem. So what's going to happen here is we're going to use the product rule. So g prime of x is going to be equal to derivative of the first part is going to be Here's the thing you got to be careful about. This is with respect to x. So we're going to have the derivative of x. So what's going to happen here is when we take the derivative of tx, we're using the product rule. So what's going to happen here is we'll take, I should rewrite this. So it's going to be d dx of t raised to the x, x to the t plus um, t raised to the x, d dx of x raised to the t. So we get g prime of x. Um, and then we're going to have, so with this, with respect to x, it's going to be the derivative of x as we pull that down. So it's going to be 1 times the natural log of t times t raised to the x times x raised to the t. And then plus t raised to the x. I'm going to get my plus signs and my t's mixed up. Um, and the derivative of this is going to be t uh, times x raised to the t minus 1. All right, so over here on the left, we get um, natural log of t, t raised to the x, times t raised to the x, x raised to the t. So that's, as, that's already simplified as is. Plus, and then over here, um, We get t, t raised to the x times t, and you can combine these two. Since this is t raised to the one, you can rewrite it as just t raised to the x plus one, and then we have um, times x t minus one. Uh, it's a big messy, so I can just rewrite this really quick. t raised to the x, x raised to the t, natural log of t plus t raised to the x plus 1 times x raised to the t minus 1. And that's it. Okay, I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.